Right, so in question 11, we're given the equation x cubed minus 6x equals 72, and we're told it has a solution between 4 and 5. We're asked to use a trial and improvement method to find the solution and to give our answer correct to one decimal place. We must show all of our working. Now, trial and improvement questions come up quite a bit, so and it's worth four marks this one, so it, it is well worth knowing how to attempt this. Um, what we're going to do is we know the solution lies between 4 and 5, so we're going to try different values of x. We're going to plug them into x cubed minus 6x, and then we're going to see is it equal um, is it equal to 72, and then we're going to make a comment. So you need to build a table of sorts, and they do give you plenty of space to do this. So you want to make a table. Such as this. And it tells us that the answer was between 4 and 5, so a really good place to start would be 4.5. Now we want an answer correct to one decimal place, so let's take out the calculator. And we're going to do we're going to 4.5 cubed take away 6 times 4.5. Okay, um, 4.5 cubed, that's 45, let's change that, 4.5 cubed minus 6 times 4.5. So you'll notice I've, I've typed it in here the exact same way I've written it down. It equals convert it to a decimal, 64.125, 64.125, and in comparison to 72, what is my comment? It's too small. So my answer, uh, my, my value of x must be bigger, I'm going to have to choose a bigger value of x, I'm going to choose 4.7. And what we're going to do on our calculator is we're going to do 4.7 cubed minus 6 times 4.7. So if you still have this on your calculator display, all I need to do is go back, change that to a 7, and change that to a 7. No need to type everything in again. 75.623. Seventy-five point six two three. How is that in comparison to seventy-two? Well, it's too big. So that means my answer is between four point seven and four point five. So let's see what happens when we try four point six. So we do four point six cubed. Take away six times four point. 6. Out with the calculator again. Just go back, change that to a 6, and change that to a 6. So 4.6 cubed take away 6 times 4.6, 69.736. And that is too small, which means my answer is either 4.7 or 4.6. Now, do not fall into the trap of looking at these answers and deciding which one to go for, because you won't get full marks then. What I always suggest is at this point, draw a little number line. Let's, let's do it over here. So. We've tried 
and that was too small. We tried 4.7, and that was too big. Well, I know my answer is, is in here somewhere, but which one am I going to choose? And it would be easy to decide uh, to look at this and say, well, that's 69, and that's closer to 72 than, than this guy is, but we're not allowed to do that. So what we need to do is we need to do a test. And what we're going to do is we're going to test what's halfway between 4.6 and 4.7, which is 4.65. And this is the critical part. So you're going to test 4.65. We do the exact same thing, 4.65 cubed, take away 6 times 4.65. Go out with the calculator and then type it in 4.65 cubed. Take away 6 times 4.65, and we get 72.644625. Let's just write that down to say three decimal places uh, 72.645. 72.645 and that is too big too big so 4.65 is too big which means that the answer must be in here somewhere must fall in between here because 4.65 is too big which means it's closer to 4.6 than it is to 4.7 So 4.6 is answer to one decimal place. And just remember, you cannot just look at the value you're given and make your decision based on that. You must do this test at the end.